All right, so we're going to do a review of what is one of the best things that I own. And this is an Openel uh, made in France, a uh, Frenchy, Frenchy knife. Um, and this one has a carbon steel blade. So I'm going to open this like this and show you my well-used carbon steel blade. So it says Openel. And it's got uh, the king's hand and the crown doing that, and uh, you can tell this has been. Well, this is a, this is just a regular eraser. Sometimes they have some abrasive that can clean up. You can see that shines it up a little bit. Okay, so uh, this open L knife uh, I've had for at least uh, five years, and um, the good thing about it, there's a, there's a whole bunch of good things about it. One is it's a pocket knife, and so folded up, it is about, we'll get this, uh, four inches long. And so 2.54 centimeters per inch, and you can figure that out. And then fully extended and locked, and that lock is an important part, we'll see here the best way to do this. The overall length at this point is a little, maybe a hair over seven inches. Okay. And the blade is uh, right at three inches. All right, in a three inch uh, blade, if this was in your uh, kitchen, this would be a good paring knife, it'd be a good uh, general utility knife. I use it as a utility knife. Uh, but a backpacking and uh, everyday carry, part of my EDC, everyday carry um, knife. It's got a quality wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I think some of them are beech. I know you can even get fig wood, sort of exotic woods. Uh, there are things that the company offers. Um, but it's got a straight up uh, carbon steel blade. So best thing about this is that it uh, locks. It's got, um, I don't know if you can tell but right here, this uh, fixture, this widget, this device right here, is a collar, and the collar holds the uh, the wood together. And there's a metal, another metal collar under that. So when you turn it to one side, it locks the blade. Now, if cold steel does a thing where they put the uh, a blade in a vise and then they whack on it with a hammer or they hang a whole bunch of weight on it and to show how strong the lock is. Well. I don't have a factory full of Chinese knives to do that, and I like cold steel stuff. They, you know, I think uh, Lynn Thompson is the real um, Tony Stark. Uh, but um, so I'm not, I'm not going to risk uh, tearing up my personal knife, and that, that that's why this review may be sort of different from some other ones. Uh, that this is something this is mine. It is a personal thing, something that I bought with my money and choose to uh, carry. But the best thing about this is how positive the lock is. So when you turn this collar, you absolutely, so I'm going to push down, and you can tell, just a little, hardly any play that way. And on the important way, no play there either. Now, so it locks open, but if you come here and fold it up and turn it again the other way than from where we were, it locks closed. So it's not going to open in your... Uh, pocket. It's not going to catch anything. I don't know if that's been a problem with anything you've had before. Um, another positive thing is blade stay sharp and uh, when you need to sharpen it up it's no big deal. Just uh, a couple of uh, you know five seconds aside on a diamond hone and you've got something that'll cut paper. And uh, it grabs really really well. Alright so another great thing. Let me uh, I'm going to step over here and grab a Ferocium rod. I don't know if you can see that. It's made in China. I uh, purchased this from somebody that had it drop shipped from China. And another great thing about this blade, and a problem I have with um, my Mora knife, I have a Mora knife as a, another sort of bushcraft utility knife, is this one. This is uh, this surface here is at a right angle to the um, to the blade face of the blade, I guess, or cheek of the blade. It's a sharp right angle. 
so I don't hope, don't want to blow a, burn a hole in my table, so I'm going to go up. No problem doing that. Uh, with my Mora knife, which uh, is this part stamped, and they didn't correct the stamp, they didn't tune it up with a file or machine it, uh, it's not that sharp. So you might end up using your blade to um, get a spark for a fire. Another positive uh, little thing. Now this is sort of, uh, you know, we have that, uh, our friend Nut and Fancy, who um, does these reviews, and, and his talking point, that's a reasonable way to do these things. And if you're going to do, have repeatable, quote unquote, uh, repeatable reviews, it's good to have uh, talking points. And, um, and I don't have any talking points today, and that's my mistake, because I want to talk about cool. Why is this cool? Well, I'll give you an example. I went to a conference um, a couple weeks ago, and I had this in my pocket, and one of my friends, one of the people, one of the reasons I actually go to the conference um, was there, and we were having lunch together, and I said, hey, have you ever seen this? And said, this is my camping uh, knife. And he's older. He's like 12 years older than me. And his 54 years on the planet, he had never seen one of these. And he's a guy that's out there and in, in life and doing stuff. He's not a shut-in or anything. And he, he's been a scout master and uh, uh, got his kids through, uh, his boys through the scouts. And, uh, you know, he was, you know, he's a real person. And uh, this was something that he'd never seen. So there's, there's a cool factor that it's something that uh, not everybody has. Uh, made in France, that's, I don't know, uh, my family uh, is French. But uh, in about 1066, we moved to England and stayed. So we've been English people for you know a thousand years, and then we came to visit. Or actually, and then we came uh, came to the states you know, a couple hundred years ago. So we weren't there for a thousand years in England, but close enough. Now, the, my Mora knife is not, um, the quality is different. The machining and uh, quality of construction is different. But it's extremely serviceable and hard to beat for the price. But this thing cost about the same. I think this cost like $14 uh, or less uh, when I bought it years ago. And uh, I gotta, that stained blade bothers me. But... Uh, these carbon steel blades, they will rust, they will uh, discolor, but they're easy to sharpen and they hold an edge pretty well. So I'm happy with that. And uh, there's a nick in the blade that I have repaired somewhat, but you can still see a little ghost of it. Um, but really sharp knife, high value uh, knife, and if uh, it looks a little bit different, it is a little bit different. Um, I would encourage you to get one. Uh, if the price is right, if you find one, um, you know, it has an overall length of um, just a hair over seven inches. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, it's well worth um, the money for it, and the utility is really good. I mean, basically, this is a lightweight bushcraft knife. Uh, it is a kitchen knife. It is a feed myself uh, knife, and it's a utility knife. It's a really, really good knife. And I like, I really do like that I can close it up and lock it so it doesn't open. And I have kids too, not that that's a, a big deterrent. Oh, this is a number seven. A number seven. So it's an open L number seven. Carbon steel blade. And I'm very happy with it. So I encourage you to get one too, if you have the uh, opportunity to do that. And we'll get some more reviews. We'll roll in some more reviews of some uh, other useful stuff um, in the future. But Open L number seven, carbon steel blade, high quality knife, really great value. Uh, give it a shot.